Hey everybody, thanks so much for stopping by. I'm in the Silhouette Studio, I have the Business Edition, and I'm designing a phrase for a scrapbook layout. So let's get right into it. I'm on the um, design page, I have my 12 by 12 virtual mat here, and I'm gonna go ahead and pick a font. Now if I go over here to my right margin and I click on A, I'm gonna get the system fonts here. Just gonna scroll through, you'll see all of them probably look familiar to you. If I come over to my library and I click on the fonts that I've uploaded, I have almost 180 fonts. I'm sure there's another one out there that I end up loading anyway. Um, the way the Silhouette Library works is you can go into their library and you can purchase the fonts. If you're a member, you can go into the library and you can purchase the fonts for a discount, or you can upload them from anybody who creates SVGs. Let's go back into design. I'm actually going to use a system font. And the one that, that caught my eye was the, um, it's the ballerina script. I thought that was super cool. So what I've done just to backtrack is I've clicked on the A that's in the right margin to tell the software that I'm gonna do a font. So that pulled up all these different system fonts. Now I'm gonna come over here to the left margin and I'm gonna click on text, which is the A. And now it knows that I'm ready to type that text. So I'm gonna say Flagstaff equals one. All right, that looks good. Let's go ahead and highlight this and I'm gonna make it a little bit bigger just so I can make my alterations. I wanna go ahead and t take the F and bring it over and the F over here and bring it over and then I'm gonna weld it. So you just highlight it and I'm gonna ungroup it. You can do that by clicking the right margin. Click off it again and there you go. Just gonna pull that guy, both of them over as well as the equal sign. And then I'll go ahead and leave the um, fun word detached from the equal sign. I don't need them all attached together. And just to go through, you have to see if you're gonna weld it, if they are touching each other, you see a little red line right there on most of them. Just shows that they're overlapping. That actually looks good. All right, so let's go ahead and highlight that again and I'm gonna weld them. So right over here in the right column is the weld, or I'll just go through the steps. If you just click on the one at the right top, it's got to automatically weld. There's not gonna be any kind of a pull down menu or anything like that. If you click on the right one, you're gonna have the options of welding. I have not used any of these other choices here. I've only used the weld. Like I said, if you click on the one on the right, you get the pull down. If you click the one at the top, it automatically does it. Now I'm gonna size this because it's um, too big right now. So I'm just gonna put my cursor right over there. I'm gonna stop a minute. Do you see how it didn't um, size in perspective, I think it's called? It's because my unlock feature is right up here and it's unlocked. That's okay. It does tell you um, 2.078 inches, that's how tall it is, or high it is, by 619. Actually, I wanted about um, three inches. Actually, I think four would, four and a half would be okay. I'm thinking of my, my layout and if I have room for it. And I'm gonna bring that up, mm, yeah, about, a, about an inch, an uh, inch and a half. Yeah, that'll be good. All right, so let's um, go ahead and highlight that. And you can group it by, there's the front, there's the back, forward, back. And I believe you guys can probably hear, hear my quail. Um, I'll tell you that what's going on in a minute. All right, so let's go ahead and group that. I couldn't find the icon um, that I needed and it's ready to go. However, I wanna do an offset, which means like a shadow. This is a super cool feature. Um, I'm gonna go over here to the star 
and it says open the offset panel or you can just offset it up here in the right I mean on the top and I haven't used the internal offset I've only used this one and this is how you change your distance as far as how big you want the offset or the shadow to be I am actually very happy with the uh, default that it is all right we're good to go now because the uh, I clicked it twice didn't I oh that's interesting let's go ahead and get rid of that small one I didn't even notice that I did that up here in the right corner you can click on delete or you can click on your right mouse and delete it from here just going to make sure that I'm highlighted on the one I want to delete and come up here and click on it all right so the next step is to um, send your images to the print choices so I'm going to say send let's go ahead and change that cut feature to a smaller cut and same for here great now it'll cut all around just like that now over here you're going to pick your cardstock or um, whatever material that you're using I think they refer to it as media um, I'm just going to go with the cardstock I'm going to cut it and I'm going to use the auto blade for some reason um, I, I've done this in the past your your blades getting a little dull but it's not ready to change completely I just kind of change the pressure of the blade a little bit and that's fine um, it's going to default the system's going to default to whatever you've chosen up here but you can't change it um, I've never had to use the force before the force hmm. um, if you have something intricate you can slow it way down um, also if you have material that's a little thicker you can ask it to cut it two times all right so I don't actually have my um, cameo on so I'm going to go ahead and turn that on real quick and I see that there's something in the queue that I'm going to get rid of because I don't know what my son was doing. <laughs> I've got him hooked on this too. Um, so I would just send that to my Cameo. I have a Cameo 3 and it's going to cut for me. All right, so let's go over to my craft table and we'll put the sign or I'll show you how I put the phrase on the scrapbook layout. All right, so this is the scrapbook layout I was talking about. Now, I just recently did a video on the first page of this trip, um, which was Canyon, uh, Grand Canyon. Um, we actually also did some other stuff, too, um, in Flagstaff and then outside of Flagstaff as well. So that's the story behind that. So this is the um, thing that I did on Silhouette Studio. Now, my glue actually had rust in it because I put a safety pin in it so I'm going to wait for that to dry and then I'll go in and try to to pick that off a little bit but it turned out really well um, as far as the layout goes I covered up most of the base I have a tendency to do that um, but this is from paper studio it's the same that I used for the other layout um, but I did a, did a little bit different of a design um, over here, I actually ripped this corrugated paper. I had got this at Michael's a very long time ago. Um, I tore it, you know, just like that. And I set it over here on the left side. Um, then I thought, you know, I'm just going to do something random. And I went ahead and got this um, washi tape. It's actually more like fabric. So you can see where it says Fabrips from Studio Calico. And I just cut little pieces here and there. I put one there. Looks like this one's coming off. Let me fix that. And there. And then I put one here. Then I added some chipboard. I believe this is Studio Calico as well. I don't know why I put it in this bag like this, but it's that is just the way it is. And then I went ahead and put the little buttons on there. I went ahead and hand cut all of the journal tags. Um, Typically, I do that. Not hand cut, but I used my guillotine. And I think that is it for that layout. Um, super fun time. I got to hold a chameleon, so I'm an animal lover. 
All right, so that's how it turned out. Um, I like how the studio, Solit Studio, cuts things. Um, I, I know there's been challenges um, with both Cricut Design Space and the Solit Studio. So, um, all right, thanks so much for joining me, and have a great day.